Hey, I'm Mike O'Neill, remote working pioneer, talking about Costa Rica. So um, I was just there and I'm going back. So I learned quite a few things. And uh, frankly, I had really good help from other people who taught me stuff. I watched a lot of videos. I watched 300 videos on YouTube, probably, before I went. And it was wonderful. You find a YouTube channel and you watch all the videos they have. I hope you'll watch all the videos we have here. This is a particularly important one. This is about money, money, paying for things, restaurants, that kind of stuff. All right. So Costa Rica has a currency. It's called colones. These are plastic, actually, and you can see through them. I see you. There you go. So the bills start at a thousand colones. Otherwise, you get coins, 500 colone coin, 100 colone coin. Okay. And then 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20 on up, on up, okay? So it is best to pay in colones, colones, C-O-L-O-N-E-S, colones, for everything. You'll get a better rate, all that kind of stuff. But sometimes it's convenient, just convenient to pay in, in, in American dollars, and, or they'll, they'll only take American dollars. So in your wallet, you know, when you're walking around and stuff, have at least 40 American dollars and maybe $50, 50 in colones or so. You'll care about 100 bucks worth of cash in you, both of those there, and a credit card and stuff. That's the best thing to do. Now, when you're buying things, this isn't for you anyway. What's, what's for you when you're buying things is this. Use your credit card as much as possible for everything. Now, this is my business card. And here's my personal card. So if you're going on business and personal, you know, you can separate out what's what. Um, I lost my business card like the second day on the trip. And was I glad I had another card? Trying to get a visa to send out, Wells Fargo in this case, to send out a card to me turned out to be impossible. So let me kind of share a little bit how the roads work. The, the, the place I was staying was like, um, 40 meters north of the big tree by the postal place. And that's really what it says right on the address. The address describe things that are not even there. So postal is not a good way to do anything there. You really don't want to be sending things postal. So talking about money now, they'll very often include the tax and tip. Tax and tip are automatically, automatically assigned to things, um, either in, in the, the, the price you see or added on to your bill. Just use your card. Charge things as much as possible. Now, when you deliver, get a whole bunch of colones here, and you will, because they'll give you change sometimes in colones. I just go buy one item. I buy a beer with colones. When I, once I get to 1,500 colones, I got them in a pile, and I go, give me an imperial silver, please. And I pay with my coins. Okay. Now, ATMs are not very powerful there, and you can't get change back at the grocery store. There may only be one or two or three ATMs in the entire town, unless you're in, in, in the, the main town of San Jose. Um, and, and the machine will tell you if it's going to give you change in colones or dollars, or you get to pick. By default, you're going to get colones. Um, but it's best to get do have dollars and colonies, have a stock of both of them. Okay, so you get $100 out here of, 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 of dollars, 520s, and you get 100 in colonies, and that lasts you for a while, you know, for quite a while if you've got credit cards and all. So um, let me share what things cost a little bit. I did a LinkedIn article about what things cost in Costa Rica, and anyone can see it. Okay, it's visible from the outside. And that'll be associated with my, with my channel somehow. But when we talk about what things cost, you know, you've got two sorts of restaurants. Two sorts of restaurants. Your traditional restaurant, well, it, let, let, I'll compare them to the U.S. Your traditional restaurant like a Denny's or a, or a, or a Applebee's or something like that. Restaurant chain. Chili's. Okay. Love them all. Really do. Um, I'm not really picky. Um, and then you've got the lower class stuff you would call fast food. Now they don't have, they have two classes of restaurants there, but they don't have fast food. They just maybe faster food. Food comes to you pretty, pretty darn fast no matter what. 
but they've got regular restaurants that are bars, that are attractions where people might just want to come just drink, or they might want to come eat. You know, that's a, that's a restaurant, okay? And, and those are in the great places. They, they are, they're on the beach, you know. Call it restaurante. The second category is called a soda, S-O-D-A, a soda. And a soda is where the locals eat. And it's under five bucks to eat. Maybe it is five bucks for the drink and stuff, okay? And the sodas are wonderful. And the traditional meal, they called it the traditional meal, typical, T-I-P-I-C-A-L. The typical meal is some meat in, in, in gravy, it could be beef, it could be chicken, could be pork, not seafood. It could be those three. Um, um, and then you, you have like a, a rice or, or something like that, and then some sort of a salad or some sort of a, 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 a veggie, some veggie thing, sauteed veggies. And that's like a five buck lunch, and it's great. The burgers are good there. The burgers do not have all the kinds of all the kinds of hormones and stuff as they do here. Burgers are a little bit expensive. They're, they're, they're cattle there that they're, they're, are not filled with hormones. They don't fatten them up quick, you know? So beef is a little more expensive there, okay? Just, just be wild. Chicken's not so bad. <laughs> Chicken's easy. You're not gonna be eating in any fast food place unless you're in, in San Jose, the main town. Well, nothing but local. So the two class, the, 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 the sodas, the mom and pop shops, and some of them will stay open late. So at the end of the bar night and stuff, you go to the soda to have a bite to eat. It's just wonderful, wonderful. Tip well, tip them well. I always really did. You know, the, there's stuff, stuff in there already. I, I provide a little extra tip for those folks there that stay up late at night to, to work from, so, I can, so I can eat like that. Um, um, seafood is wonderful there, okay? Seafood, because it's right, I mean, really, the seafood is coming from the sea that you're right by in most places. You know, in Minnesota here, our seafood is what? Other, other than walleye that we got, that we cook it here, you know, you can get walleye almost at McDonald's here. Um, um, the seafood comes from other places. And the closer it is from where that animal died to where you eat it is always sort of one of the best things. Did I miss anything else? Okay, when you're at restaurants and bars, um, you're gonna wanna get on their Wi-Fi network. Okay, you can ask them for what the Wi-Fi code is, and they might tell you, and you go, I, I didn't understand. What I do is I just hand them my phone. Can you put it in? Because I can usually figure out which, which it is. It's an open network, and it'll say like the name of the restaurant, on it, and I push the button, and I say to the bartender or the restaurant, and the restaurant, or, could, could you just put the code in for me? That's the best thing to do, because then you can just, like, be, be, be on your Facebook, post a picture up there and stuff. And, and try to remember all of these. So I'll just share a little story about remembering passwords. I'm going literally down the beach in, in, in um, Tamarindo, and, and I, I get this bleep, you know, that someone had sent me a WhatsApp message. And I just keep walking, and, and all of a sudden I go back, and I couldn't, re I couldn't go back. It didn't work. Because I was on a hot spot, it automatically logged me into a hot spot, and I walked too far away from that hot spot and was not on another hot spot. As soon as I turned around and went back, it's like, bleep, it came back. So the hotspot phone calling is something that you got to kind of get used to, okay? And, and frankly, having that local phone, um, which is what I'm doing, I'm having two phones, um, is really, really great for that, for that kind of stuff. But you'll find any restaurant you go to pretty much has Wi-Fi there or they're getting it from next door or something. So there's restaurants and bars and all. Be aware of what time things close. Okay, because it might dilly-dally over here and the musician over there is done at nine o'clock or so. Um, certain bars have a night where they do something special. You know, it's barbecue night or, or, or it's, you know, we got uh, Brian Sanchez playing tonight, for example. There's some ideas for you, things to do for nightlife, kind of how a day goes and stuff. Dress light still at night. It's still hot at night. You might just wear your tank top at night as well. You know, what you wear in the morning is what you wear to bed at night sometimes. Mike O'Neill, remote working pioneer, talking about Costa Rica.